Here's a question. How long do you want to live? I'd like to live a long life, so I thought I'd do some research. So I looked up the top 10 leading causes of death in the US. And you know what? All the things people worry about, like homicides, drugs, and terrorism, weren't even in there. But because people worry about them, we made this pie chart to show all these causes of death and how big a deal they are. So it turns out the two biggest killers in our country can be caused by what we eat. That's heart disease, which kills more than 30% of our citizens, and cancer, which kills another 30%. Strokes and diabetes can also be affected by what we eat, and these account for another 4.9% and 3.8% respectively. Now, from what we see on television and in the movies, such as the news, cop shows, and murder mysteries, you'd think we should be worrying about violence. But homicides actually account for less than 1% of all deaths. And for terrorism, it's less than 0.01%. There isn't even a piece for terrorism because it's such a low figure. But now, take a look at this. These are the leading causes of death that people search for online. A totally different picture, right? People are interested in finding out about cancer, but not so much about heart disease. And they're way more interested in violent deaths. Nearly one quarter of searches are about these, even though they account for just 3% of deaths. I have another question. Is what we actually die from reflected in the media coverage in a proportionate way? Our world in data.org looked at the New York Times as an example, although the results from The Guardian were very similar. It found that violent deaths such as homicide and suicide account for around one-third of all media coverage. And terrorism accounts for a whopping 35.8%. Overall, violent forms of death account for more than two-thirds of coverage, but they actually account for less than 3% of all deaths. Now, I'm just a teenager, but I'm wondering whether we've got our priorities all mixed up. News channels can make us think the world is scarier than it really is, and it can forget what's truly important. And if we're going to make America healthy again, we should all be taking our own health much more seriously. So to help beat those leading causes of death in our country, like heart disease, cancer, stroke, and diabetes, the science says we need to eat a lot less meat, dairy, and eggs, and a lot more fruits, whole grains, and vegetables. Or better still, we could all go vegan.